Theo, thanks for the invitation to Cloud NC. Now, to many, this may look like a general job shop, a subcontracting company, but could you tell us what Cloud NC are all about and what you offer and why you're different? Sure thing, Mark. So Cloud NC is actually an artificial intelligence company and our mission is to deliver autonomous manufacturing. You know, we believe that when somebody wants to order precision parts, it shouldn't be days to get a quote and you know, four to eight weeks to get the parts and there's a chance they don't turn up on time and I have to run a wide selection of factories because none of them are big enough to serve all of my needs. The way it should be is I upload a component, I want one, I want 10,000, it doesn't matter. I get a price instantly. I get design for manufacturer feedback instantly from software and I click buy and I forget about it because those parts will turn up on days they will be right every single time, they will be on time every single time. The Amazon experience for manufacturing, and that is what we want to deliver into the market. In order to do that, you need software, incredible quantities of software, and that is why we are an AI company. That's why our software engineering team is actually larger than the manufacturing team that supports this facility and supports our customers right now. We're building a factory operating system that captures every single problem, all of the knowledge, automates ultimately all of the expert decision making that is required to take you from a 3D file to finish parts out the door so that we are scalable and every problem is solved in software forever. Many engineering companies, Theo, would actually say, okay, basically your company was formed based on software, AI software, but how about the engineering background? What quality do you have here? Sure, well, you know, my background is manufacturing, mechanical and robotics engineering. I started my career in metals 3D printing research before deciding that, you know what, 3D printing, it's not going to be the next industrial revolution. It's a very good niche process, but if you want to create a new industrial revolution, the way to do it is make all of the traditional specialized pieces of manufacturing equipment autonomous. Rather than having humans program the machines, humans schedule the factory, that should all be done with software because we have the 3D files and that's all we should need. Um, my co-founder, Chris Emery, he's ex-Google, he's a computer scientist. He also worked in the 3D printing industry briefly, so that was a natural fit. Our VP of software engineering, before here, he was executive director of engineering at McLaren Applied Technologies, running their software engineering teams. Rami Saab, our chief commercial officer, he's a physicist by background, INSEAD MBA, previously uh, worked at Fetcher doing complex logistics across the Middle East, an area that has no addresses. Across the entire team, you will find the absolute cream of not only software engineering talent, but manufacturing and engineering talent from the likes of BAE Systems, from Rolls-Royce, from GE Aviation, from McLaren, from pretty much any big blue chip company that you can name, and a selection of the smaller shops like the F1s, Red Bull Racing, Toro Rosso as well. When I look at the technology that you've got on the shop floor, from five axis machine tools to turning, you've also embracing automation. And now automation has been there for many, many years, and with the skill shortage that we have in manufacturing in the UK and Ireland, I suppose to a certain extent, AI actually helps that as well, doesn't it? Absolutely. So normally when you think automation, you think robot arms. You think the automation of manual labor. But the thing is, 95% of manufacturing isn't mass production doing the same thing over and over again. The most common batch size in our industry is 50 units. And that means that you're changing what your machines are doing multiple times a day, every single day. That means reprogramming your machines, rescheduling your factory, procuring new material, asking all kinds of specification questions to your customers so that you can get those parts out to tolerance. What do you need in order to do that? It's not a robot. You need software that automates the expert human decision making that converts a 3D file into a finished part going out the door to your customer. And that is exactly the challenge that we're solving here at Cloud NC. We've been working on this for five and a half years, and the result is an artificially intelligent factory operating system that is increasingly stripping all of that human decision making out of precision machining so that we reach that goal of sending us a 3D file, you get your parts, software was in control the whole way through. And many manufacturers at the moment will be looking at the situation, do I buy my next machine tool, do I invest in people, which obviously we know there's a shortage, but why should they use Cloud NC, Theo? Well, Cloud NC is building the autonomous factories of the future. If you work with us, you're not just working with you know, a job shop, you're working with a massive software engineering team, you're working with a significant commercial and analysis team. Everybody here is 
set not just to you know, manage the day-to-day -day and keep this workshop ticking over. Every single day, we make this factory and our service level better in a scalable way by building software, by building new processes. There is never a single day that this company stands still. So whatever you bring to us, we're going to build that knowledge into Factory OS so that you know, ultimately we will never make a mistake in the future.